All right, I'm back on this uh, clay, and uh, I've been trying to figure out what to do to make this as inexpensive as I can to cast. Anytime you got all kinds of arms and stuff sticking out, you're going to have expense because they got to make molds of all that stuff. Anyway, I'm just uh, trying to figure it out, and I will eventually. I removed the head of the uh, third figure and I'm going to anchor it in this hole. There we go. Helps to have it going in the right direction. <laughs> Jeez. I got it anchored in with a screw, uh, the wire that I've got the uh, head attached to. And uh, the clay I'm using in this video is uh, NSP Soft Sulfur Free Plastiline by Shavant. First thing I'm going to start with is the eye sockets. Get them placed. I got these uh, round bald tipped tools. I got these tools from AM Creatures and uh, I'm not sure of their website. I'm sure it's probably amcreatures.com but I couldn't tell you right now because I don't have my computer with me. They're really nice tools and uh, I got three sized ball tips. This is the smallest one here. And uh, I, I didn't start using ball tips until sometime in the last uh, couple years. Up to that point it was just dental tools and wire tools. There are just a couple of habits I've gotten into with creating faces. And one of them is starting with the eye sockets first, as you saw, and, uh, and graduating to the mouth and cheeks. <laughs> I started sculpting in 1965 when I was in high school. And uh, I've been doing it ever since. 
the same method. Start with the eyes and then work from there. Once you build up a habit, and you can do any kind of face you want to do, you just have to start where the personality is, and that's uh, the eyes, and go from there. Of course, this small, you just sort of have to and especially with old eyes like mine, I'm going on 71. Going on 71, not there yet for another couple of months. But uh, the eyes aren't what they used to be when I was young. At this age. And I'm going to open his mouth. Now if I didn't mention it before, the reason I moved, removed the head and work on it separately it just makes it so much easier. You're working at a disadvantage because the head is so small in the first place. And trying to work on a head this size on the figure is just a little more difficult, that's all. This little wire tool you can order off of uh, SculptureDepot.net it's a great little wire tool for small things. Just digging out the uh, jawline here. There's a slight difference in color of the clay, and that's because I started this one out with clayette. And uh, clayette was just a little too hard of a clay for this uh, size of a figure. So I switched over to this NSP, which works out just fine. Clay it has its uses, but not for something that small. <laughs> Just building up his skull a little bit. Putting an eyebrow in there. Now 
Now, even though you're doing something that's not really heavily detailed, you still got to have the physical features and the muscles, and I keep losing my muscle. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's get that on there. Ah, just like that. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is create an emotion in his face. Or her face. Depends on what I want to do with this uh, figure. I think I'm going to make it a female. I'm making such small pieces of clay that fall out of my fingers. Easily. If you notice, I just put a daub of clay on it and I go to smooth it out. Well, it's hard to keep myself from trying to do a lot of detail. I'm used to doing a lot of detail, and uh, I'm trying not to. Okay, I think I'm far enough along that I can put this back on the uh, the body. place. Let's build up a neck. All right, as I'm wrapping up today, uh, I'm going to go home and figure out uh, the clothing that I'm going to put on this figure and uh, work that out, maybe some drawings, um, and looking through some of the photographs I've got. Um, I want to remind you that I do have instructional DVDs. I just came out with a new one just a couple of days ago. And uh, the link to uh, viewing a short review of each of those DVDs is uh, down below in the uh, video description and uh, if you want to learn a little bit more and and gather the 50 years of knowledge that I have of sculpting uh, please go there all right till next time